Hi guys, so this week um, you're going to join me, I'm going to do a species spotlight on um, my Holly Quinn Rasbora, which are like these little fish that you can see these ones here, just over there, oh sorry. Okay, so I have just done a water change on this tank, so if the water's looking a bit murky or cloudy um, and the fish are a little bit spooked because of that, so uh, I'm sorry about that. So let's just see if I can just get a little bit closer without spooking them. Okay, so these are Harlequin Rasporas. Their scientific name, I'm going to try and say this without butchering it, so apologies if I do, is Trigo... Trigonostigma heteromorphy. Bit of a mouthful. So they are native to Asia, um, particularly Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand. And they're found living in rivers, um, small streams, and even swamp forests where um, there's a lot of like peat in the water, so it's very heavily uh, tannined. So it resembles, or it's very similar to blackwater habitats of South America. And the water flow in these areas is, is quite slow. They are what's classed as a middle to top layer fish, so again, you'll only really find them in the middle layer of the tank or at the top, um, which is, is sort of true for these. I, I rarely see these going down to the bottom of the tank. They grow to be about two inches in total, so, you know, just a nice size little fish. They are a shoaling fish, so an absolute bare minimum, you should have six which is what I've got at the moment. I did have up to 12 at one point, um, but I don't know, I sort of seem to have got something that went on in my tank that just affected them and I have had a few die over the past year or so. Quite shy with me sitting right close to the front, sorry, so I'm just struggling to get a bit of scratches on the glass. So these fish are quite beautifully coloured, um, I absolutely love these fish. So they actually have silver bodies, like with most fish it's quite translucent, quite see-through. And then you can see they've got that black patch going from sort of the last sort of third of the body down to the tail. It's in like that pork, shop, it pork chop shape, that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and then going more towards the fins, and actually on the fins it is more of an orangey, coppery sort of colour. They're absolutely beautiful. So it's a bit hard to tell the difference in the sexes with these. So uh, females tend to get a little larger in body size than males do, and a bit more rounder around the stomach area. Males... Um, Apparently the black patch on them is bigger and it's more pointed at the edges whereas the female's black patch is more sort of rounder um, and apparently males tend to have a, a bit of a rounder patch coming towards the anal fin. Oh, it's, not, it's not focusing. So at the moment I think that's the male that's at the top, well in the middle now. Um, I think these three that are in screen at the moment are females. And then that's the male that's just coming in that's a bit more vibrancy colours. So I think I've got two males and I think the rest are females. Um, and I do see two of them. It's particularly this one that's really orangey in the fins. And the other one, I can't see where it is. Or it might be this one over here. The one at the top. They do sort of not spar, but they'll swim alongside each other, displaying, and they'll put all the fins up and sort of shimmy at each other. There we go. So, in the streams or these swamp forests where they're found in, in the wilds, the swamp forests would have. Um, Sorry, I'm struggling to focus. 
the swamp forests would have quite soily substrates whereas the rivers or the streams would have a sand substrate so either of these would do you can see I've, um, I've got a sand substrate in mine um, <clears throat> you don't really see the fish going down to the bottom of the tank anyway to be fair like I said they are more like in the middle or, or the top layer of the tank but they do like a lot of plants so in the wild they'll go be in heavily planted areas but they do need a bit of open swimming space as well so temperature wise what I've looked up mine are at 26 um, I think it's 26 at the moment um, but temperature wise on the internet I've read anything from 23 to 28 however if you do want to breed your fish or get them spawning they need a higher um, a higher temperature to match what it would be in the wild. pH, I found quite differing um, pH levels. The sort of average I could find from a, a few different websites was 6 to 7.8 pH. Now my pH here is actually 8 um, and it's one of those things again that having um, a, a steady level pH is better than having trying to match it and having your pH fluctuating up and down a lot that's more damaging to the fish than just a steady a steady level. Uh, general hardness again anything from 2 to 15 I think my general hardness is um, 11. Now they are actually an omnivore um, so giving them sort of um, blood worms anything like that on top of like your, your sort of dry foods that you give them and then I found sort of um, lifespans as anything sort of six six plus one website did say up to 11 years um, so yeah quite a long lived little fish really so you can see there the, the light um, on my phone isn't doing them justice really so I apologise for that but I absolutely love these little Harlequin Rasboras, they are so peaceful. Um, if anything they're in this, this is a 105 litre tank. They share this tank with four silver tip tetras, two males and two females. Um, and the male silver tip tetras are quite aggressive, always chasing each other around and they do harass the little Harlequin Rasboras quite a bit as well. So I'm just sort of letting them drop down. I'll, I won't have any silver tip tetras again. And then there are two, it, sorry, there are four um, little Otto Sinclis in there as well. So if I just pull back a little bit, I'll just see if they'll be brave enough to sort of come out and we can just watch them swimming around a little bit.
is just a quick little sort of speechy spotlight on my on Harlequin Raspberry. If I have said anything wrong or given incorrect information, please do let me know in the comments below because I, I don't want to be, you know, I, I'm still new and I want to be learning new things myself and correcting myself. But yeah, if anybody was to ask me of a nice, colourful, peaceful um, community fish, I would definitely recommend these. I absolutely love them. Um, the colours are fantastic and they're so peaceful. So thank you for watching. Um, do feel free to leave me a comment below and like the video and join me on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.